We were out to find websites on the brink of technology failure and turn them into something awesome. Four ways typography improves readability for web design. Hello, I'm David Grubb from Shepherd's Loft and I want to help you design a better website. Today I want to first explain uh, these four ways uh, and then I'm going to show you some specific examples that demonstrates um, how typography improves readability for web design. So the, the four things are fonts, contrast, words per line, and paragraphs. Uh, so let me explain a little bit more about those. Uh, the fonts, uh, there's a wide range of attributes, but today I kind of want to point out just sizes, colors, line height, and styles. Uh, for contrast, uh, I want to talk about the difference in the color between the font and its background. And then the words per line is the number of words that you have on a line, uh, a single line of content before you go to the next line uh, to continue reading. Uh, and also we're looking at the words per sentences. Uh, sometimes we uh, you know, can take the creative license to rewrite things. Sometimes we just have to work with what we have. But the recommended number of words per sentence would be 13 to 16 uh, words per sentence. That's what the average is. Uh, the number of words per line on average is 9 to 12. That makes it easy enough for people to get to the next line down for their eye to be able to track from the end of the line to the beginning of the next line. So those are the th kind of things that we're looking at concerning regarding the words per line. Uh, paragraphs, you know, if we if our sentence structure is correct, then we're looking at two to three sentences per paragraph. You know, so if we do some quick math, uh, two sentences, 12 words each, we're looking at about 24 words uh, per paragraph. So uh, high and low, it might be anywhere from 18 to 36 words per paragraph. Uh, and it's pretty obvious when there's, uh, especially if you've got 9 to 12 words per line, it's pretty obvious when you've kind of exceeded that. And that's very important because it helps the search engine index the content. It improves the readability, but it also uh, determines how well your page can rank uh, for the search engines. So those are the four things that I want to show you. Um, and I have an example, the Tax Centers of Georgia. He's located down in Marietta, Georgia. Um, so we're going to talk about the fonts, the contrast, the words per line, and the paragraphs. I'm going to go page by page and I'm going to point out some things that uh, I, we believe that were issues and then I'm going to show you how we fix them. So let's just jump right over to our screenshots. So these are screenshots that I took of the website before we started making the changes so that we could reference those and then show you what the uh, real time results are. So this was the previous home page of the tax centers of Georgia. Remember, so our four things are the, you know, the fonts, uh, the size, colors, and style. So here we have a, just a very basic style font that matches up with their logo. So that would be the style there and also in the headings. So all their headings, uh, which is these, uh, you know, bold or large size fonts at the beginning of each paragraph, which helps your search engine optimization as well. So those that font style looks good. And you can see that this is a bigger size. So maybe this is a 44 and this is a 33. And then our default fonts are, you know, are smaller. And this is really small in here. That's not very readable. So there's a contrast issue here with this tax preparation underneath there. Uh, these fonts are kind of small. In addition, uh, you can see, you know, we're talking about, we didn't really talk about phrases, but this button is broken. So it has kind of an odd shape. So what we, what we should do is we should move this extra content down. We should make these fonts bigger, create more contrast by making it larger or bolder, and then make these buttons, you know, single lines. There's a lot of things we can do there. Also, I see at the top, there's a light blue, like this is the active menu color for the navigation. That color is going to be too light and it's going to not going to have enough contrast. Uh, most of these paragraphs look pretty good. Probably could have a break there. Uh, there's a lot of white space around this image, 
which is not bad, but still could be a little better. This paragraph over here is really big, uh, so there's probably exceeds the 36 words there, so we could probably break that up. Uh, this layout here is pretty good, uh, but I'm looking at the font style of this, you know, looking at the drop shadow. There's a drop shadow on this one, but there's not a, one on that one up there, so it's just a little inconsistency with our, our styles. Uh, these all look good in here. Uh, this image is really big, so we could probably change the layout there. So those are just some few things that I see there. So let's look at the new page and see how we changed those uh, and, and corrected those issues. So you can see here, this is the new page and I'm logged in and I'm gonna show you why in a minute. Um, but here is, we made these fonts much bigger, increased the contrast, tax center, tax preparation, I'm sorry, is much bigger. So now the contract is very readable. Again, the contrast changed on the active menu. We changed it to a black so that it would be bolder to indicate that this is where we are. Um, other little things like included the word tax in the appointment. So that was a keyword. Uh, and putting these buttons on separate lines is really good. Uh, the orange color, we really liked that orange color, but the contrast was not enough. So we went back to the peach color that matches the logo up in the top. Uh, and so that gave us more contrast for the button, fix that issue, move that content out and down. And you can see here, we've got more paragraphs in this section here. The fonts, the default fonts are, are bigger and we've got our headings here, kind of filled in that space. And, you know, all this looks good. This button is now consistent with the other ones on the page. Um, we still have a little bit of an issue with this slider so we either have to figure out how we're going to either either remove it or make these arrows appear when it first loads um, so we had a bit of a contrast issue again here so we changed the background to white uh, and in the blog section down here we made it multi-column so it, so instead of stretching all the way across the page like it was before now you have these little readable paragraphs uh, improving the readability greatly um, so you can see there's a lot of little changes on that page. Let's go look at the next one. This is the blog page, which I don't believe we made a lot of changes to, but we'll go take a look at that. So let's go to the news. Uh, you can see there are our heading colors that are now blue. So if I switch back and forth here, uh, these were orange before these titles and now you can see that they're all blue again the orange at least at that font size was not generating enough contrast on the page to be very readable so all these headings have changed to a darker blue to match the logo uh, and the style so the style the color uh, and and the sizes all match a little bit better and they're more readable so that's an important aspect to making this whole page better Uh, this page is our business tax page. So let's go look at that page. Business tax reduction strategies page. Um, you can see here we added uh, the top is mostly the same except for this top up here. Instead of being orange is now, you know, before it was orange it was and it was not generating enough contrast. So this darker blue works better. Uh, the color button color changed to more of uh, the peach color. So let's look at some of these paragraphs through here. So you can see this text is really, really tiny. Uh, through here, this is a big paragraph here. Uh, this line is really long, partially because the fonts are really small. Uh, this blue on gray is a contrast issue. Blue and orange is a contrast issue. Uh, this layout is pretty good, but again, all these fonts are small. These are small, and these are spanning all the way across the page, uh, which makes it difficult to read, But and this font is gray down here. So a lot of color issues uh, that we're facing in contrast. So dark blue there, uh, These all these fonts here are larger, which makes it more readable. Uh, and then you know making it larger kind of fixes the layout issue with, out, with too many 
uh, words per line. Uh, the dark blue has more contrast. The black on peach works much better as well. Uh, this section here, I believe we changed the entire video section here from a white background to a blue background. And we also went to full width. Um, and then this allowed us to pull the, the title, the heading up over top, which has more contrast and it kind of sets this section apart. Uh, and you can see all of these uh, subheadings are a little bit larger and the fonts are larger much readable the same thing with the FAQs uh, making it larger and gives makes it a darker color makes it more readable next page we want to look at is the how to pay for college uh, we can see here that this title was inconsistent it's it's like it's in a different section all by itself and the the light blue on white is not enough contrast uh, there was no call to action here these fonts are too small uh, and in this section over here all these fonts are really small uh, and of course when we change the font sizes it also creates layout issues so then we have to adjust those as well uh, and in this section here the a stands for accept uh, this is just way too many words per line uh, it's, and, and it's small it's small and there's too many so it's a, a double there and then this little image is just kind of is really kind of small it's not really helping us with the layout so we need to fix that as well so looking at the new page how to pay for college you can see now the fonts are bigger over on the left sides the title is integrated more in with this section uh, again we've got better contrast makes it more readable larger fonts more readable and then in this section as well when we made the fonts larger then we had kind of a layout issue. So we moved this over to a two-third, I mean a one-third, two-third kind of layout. So we just don't have this constant gutter in the middle of the page. And so this was a way, putting this in separate columns allows us to, again, keep these words per line fewer so that it's more readable. And the same thing in this section down here. So we kind of just repeated the process in terms of the layout to make sure everything was very readable. Uh, and you can see here in this section, we made it two columns. Uh, the A stands for accept and the P stands for pay. Now there's two separate columns. Everything here is more readable, making the image better, uh, bigger, you know, helps the layout as well. And so there's that page and I believe we have one more page to look at and this page was in really good shape when we started it was the estate planning page so if I go to the bottom here uh, so all the top of this uh, page looked really good uh, we increased the fonts here in these sections so let me go back and kind of scroll through some of the issues you can see these fonts are pretty small here under these bullet lists um, and then also there is uh, kind of a hidden issue here with this background image and then a transparency layer with a colored background so there's just kind of too many things going on in this area sometimes this is done pretty well but sometimes textures and paragra paragraphs especially with uh, just your standard font size can can create readability issues so in order to have better contrast in here we wanted to eliminate uh, this background image so that this is solid and it's more readable uh, and a lot of these sections here are a little bit small and and same thing in this section here there's a little bit of a background graphic or something uh, and you know we could have better contrast with those we have light gray on white over here so that's an issue and also i, I kind of don't like the way this layout was here with with the two boxes side by side so i feel like it, it really wasn't working so let's look and see how we we made those updates here these fonts are are a little bit bigger should be and you can see that the background image is gone from here and this text is just a little more readable These sections, I believe we the titles are a little bit larger than they were before. 
And in this section here, now we just have the blue on the right side of the page. So uh, this is more of a design thing. But now that we have just have the white over the gray and the dark, darker font on top, making the fonts darker and removing that box, we have better readability on the left side for these quotes. And then these were kind of broken up in separate little paragraphs because everything was kind of bunched together. So having this extra space in here makes this all a little bit more readable. So, well, that's it for today. That's the four ways that you can improve the typography. You know, that typography improves readability for your web design. And that's the fonts, the contrast, the words per line, and the paragraphs. So keep that in mind when you're designing. Uh, if you need help, with your website, uh, Shepherd's Loft is here to help. So we want to help you design a better website. Thanks for listening.